Thanks for joining me for another video, and due to popular demand, we're comparing the Omega Crux and the Halo Pearl. I just happened to recently get some Halo Pearl footage for some reason, so it was too convenient to not go ahead and put this together. A lot of you have asked about a video comparing the two, so here it is. Just like the Astro comparison, I'll show some shots on the house shot and the 2019 Nationals DNS pattern. We've started out on the house shot with the Omega here. My layout on the Omega is my typical one as of late, 5x3.5x2.5, which is a pretty dynamic layout for me without being too strong or early, it produces a lot of shape. If you've watched the rest of the videos, you know what's going on with the Omega by now. It's a pretty nice blend of everything. It's got a good amount of traction, but a good amount of pop or shape too. It's round and continuous, and it just feels like a stronger daily driver for oilier league conditions or for medium conditions if you have higher speed and or lower revs. Moving to the Halo Pearl on the house shot, I actually have a fairly different layout on this one. I was going pin down on ASIMs for a while, and this one's 5x3.5x4.5, so the pin length and PSA to PAP numbers stay the same, but the larger pin buffer number puts it pin down. Longish pin, but aggressive PSA to PAP number, while the larger pin buffer tames the overall motion down just a bit. Now, if it had the same layout as the Omega, you'd see a motion closer to that of the Astrophysics. The E-Trax P18 Pearl cover is pretty clean and sharp too, but the Centrum core in the Halo series makes the ball a little more forward rolling down lane. The Halo Pearl is great for when you want Astrophysics type sharpness down lane, but not the aggressive continuation, or when you want to get it to the spot and have it check up, but kind of sit there. I've used it to a lot of success when I need that punch down lane but want more directional control at the end of the pattern. You can see that that occasionally means more 10 pins but less 4.9s, four 4s, four or 9s though, so it's a subtle change in shape through the pins that can be incredibly beneficial if you match up everything correctly. Over to the Omega on the 2019 Nationals DNS shot, and if you couldn't tell, this is going to be my default sport test pattern going forward, but at box surface, the Omega is just a bit too clean for this pattern. It's 42 feet, 28.4 mils, so it's on the longer side of medium and heavier volume. I think if the Omega was at something like 2000, it would match up quite a bit better. I might have to try that out and see what we have, because if anyone saw Chris Prather annihilate everything on the TOC show with it, you know it's a serious player. It's exactly the type of look you want on a tougher and heavier pattern. It gives you hook and shape without too much of either one of those. He was able to roll the ball and create a bit more down lane shape than he had with the idle, but similar control. The asymmetry helped the ball to stabilize and control that right lane a bit more without sacrificing the look that he had with the idle. I have a lot of people tell me that stuff looks good on video, but they never see the pros throwing it. Well, the Shark just won 100 grand with the Omega splitting duty with the idle, so there's no better proof than that. Moving to the Halo Pearl, it looks good, but with that shiny surface, it's just not going to be great on the fresh. This is a 2 or 3 ball once you've gotten some games on the lanes and have some friction to work with. And a critical note to make here, like I said earlier about having punch and being straighter through the pocket, the Halo Pearl will get you down the lane cleanly with enough punch to knock the pins down, but directional control down lane so it doesn't just pick up and take off. It's crisp and sharp, but it doesn't want to go hunting for the 7 pin like the Astro does. Just because something looks visually impressive doesn't mean the scores will always be impressive. Sometimes you want a simpler, more blue collar look, and that's what the Halo Pearl is all about. It's a quiet performer. Once again, the Omega Crux releases on February 21st with the Pitch Purple. Thanks for watching. <laughs>